Feel the build up. All I need is I always love going back. a couple of glow sticks and some E, and I'm raving, baby. Here. Nancy here. Rhythm is the dancer. Oh my goodness. How's it going on this How beautiful Tuesday doing? morning? Come I on. hope you're waking up to a good start. Oh, I'm much better this morning. Yeah? Much you're better. more alive? Well, yeah, I went to bed in my own bed, which was great. I know. Which was a good start, even it's though I didn't start. sleep all the best, but it's in my own bed, baby. That's the thing, you know, like when, for this show, it's awesome that we're doing this together because sometimes I'll carry the conversation. Other times you'll carry the conversation and yeah. I try not to interrupt your flow and you try not to interrupt my flow and it's a great, great partnership. Right? Wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you agree? Yes? No? On, on camera? Right here? Yeah, okay. But on paper? I don't know. Really? Okay. I'm messing with you. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. This one's to the rim. I guess I put too much coconut water. Mmm. Still real good, though. But nonetheless, it's amazing. Mojito. Yeah, so I slept good this last night. Good enough. Yeah. Woke up this morning, went to my gym. That's good. Was it five, five after five? Or no, probably ten after five. Yeah. Yeah. Did you run? I did some punching bag. I'm just getting no, into it. No, did you run there? I'm halfway there, halfway. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. How was your backpack? <laughs> I tell you, if, if you hadn't put my stuff in the backpack for me, I don't know where I'd be. I don't know. Yeah, but you had this big, I mean, I thought huge my life duffel was, bag, and it was like, what are you, yeah, so bulky? I thought my life was fulfilled when you gave me Naomi, but then you put my stuff in a, in a, a backpack, in a right? hiking backpack, and then I felt Stick in that with moment me, man, and you're going to have exuberance, an amazing life. Exuberance. I was like, <laughs> where have... Where have I been? Okay. You know, under a rock? All right, all right, all right. So, yes, I how appreciate the bag. is your challenge going? How is the challenge? Another going? smoothie challenge this week. Smoothie, smoothie. I'm smoothie, telling smoothie. you, man, if you start off with your day with a smoothie, yeah, putting all on. the right nutrients come and vitamins on. in there, come on. Uh, you're setting your palate, your your health to a good start, right? Each and every single day. Sure it doesn't are. have to be big changes. It doesn't have I to mean, be big changes. Come on. One of my clients, that's basically how we started. I said, just start your day with the smoothies instead of yeah, stop having, having the ice cap. Else. Yeah, stop, stop having the ice cap, uh, what do you call that? Ice cap cappuccino? Ice cappuccino? What is it called? I don't know. Ice cap, see that's, I, I never go there. Ice cappuccino and the bagel in the morning. Stop doing that and do a smoothie instead and you'll see the pounds just kind of like come off you. Mm -hmm. you know? Lost 10 pounds already. With like almost zero effort. Yeah. Just that little effort. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, I shouldn't say zero effort. I should yeah, say, I was gonna say there's zero, a lot of effort put in. Zero changes. Well, like, there's very little change. She she's she's actually implementing a lot of healthier options than what she would normally do. Like instead right. of ordering pizza, she's actually making pizzas with well, the kids. Yeah, come on, you can make them yourself. And, and, it's fun. Uh, yeah, no, she's doing great and I'm really happy for her. I just that makes my day. Like people seeing my clients like do well really like we love it implementing the recommendations that I give them and it's, and it's working and it's, it's, uh, it's awesome. It's I love seeing people awesome. strive. I really do. I, I like people being successful in whatever shape, way or form that that means to them. It's kind of like a movie. Like you always want to see the happy ending. I More, mean, yeah. you know, the Rocky movie, you don't want him to see him being defeated and then Well, in the first it. one he is. He loses in the first one. I know, but you know there's a sequel, right? At the time you didn't know, but uh, yeah. just saying, sometimes yeah. it's not always the happy ending. She's the type of person that after the happy ending in the movie, she wants to see like where are they like where are they now? Like, <laughs> yeah. Five years yes. after, I want to see how well they are uh, after. Yes. It's like no, the movie ends right when the they, good note. the guy wins the girl again. On it's done. Yeah. You don't get to see the six months after where you know. No, I know. And then the honeymoon. You, you don't see that. No, I know. No. I know. I get what you're saying though. So, uh, yeah, we really want to touch on the aspect touch. of. Finding a place of creativity, um, yeah. whether it's physically, mentally, actually it's both. It's finding that place where you feel safe and where you feel at your best, where mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. perform. Just to collect your thoughts. Collect your thoughts. Or be creative. Perform something on like your ideas, put your ideas, your thoughts on mm -hmm. paper. Yeah. Uh, but oftentimes you are gonna ha you're gonna struggle with that. Especially if you got a lot going on in your life, and I speak to this whole pandemic, right? I mean, if you're gonna, 
consume yourself with the news, with the overwhelming uh, aspect of this pandemic. Uh, chances are you're yep. going to be more on survival mode and yep. less in creative mode because they can't do both at the same time. It's You'd like be fearful. Yeah, exactly. You can't be fearful. All right. You have a question? Yeah. Can I help you? No, no, no. No, it's okay. It's okay. smoothies right there. Be careful. Yeah, be careful. The smoothies. It's like Minecraft. Creative or survival. Oh, oh that's wow. a good point there, actually. Okay. Meow. This is me leaving. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Uh, yeah, so that's the thing. And like. Kids. Take um, take the when we moved here, for example, I had like trouble finding topics for our morning show, and my morning routine was a bit off. And you know, it's like, but yeah. you, you have to, I have to allow myself to forgive myself. Okay, you're moving, a lot's going on. Chances are you're not going to be as well, yeah. creative. Well, everything is in shambles. Yeah, exactly. You're in a surviving mode. Like, so hypothetically, you're you're trying to create this house into a home. And right, the feng shui was not all set up yet, so you could That's a big deal, actually. The it's, feng shui, uh, needs, feng shui needs, to, needs to work. I mean, you're not gonna like move into a storage container and you're, not, and you're gonna live in boxes for eight years and have look through, you know, look through your boxes, try to find stuff, and then come out of there with like a masterpiece of some sort. It's, it's almost yeah, impossible. Exactly. You really gotta set yourself up. And if you don't have that space, well, what you gotta do is, I think, at the, at the very least, is practice getting to that space in your head in your me yeah, mentally you got to get there it's like being, it's like a monk you know it's all great and fine and dandy of these monks that are like super zen in the mountains and whatever but put them downtown new york city and see how and, and then that's where you will really want to see how all of their teachings if it works yeah because it's like i said it's nice to be all zen when you're in the forest and all you have is the birds actually and, it's funny you mentioned that because i was just when you're in the rush hour traffic that's not the same well, kind yeah, of environment that's the thing. Um, yeah, so funny you mentioned that because I, I was, I'm actually listening to the audiobook of Think Like a Monk by oh, Jay Shetty and yeah. he talks about his journey about living as a monk for three years and yeah. learning all of the tools and the things to create peace and, and, um, and positivity within yeah. and, uh, no, it was, it was, uh, it's very informative and it's, it's really great to train your mind and yeah. develop those tools yeah. so when you do come across stressful times you have a better way of coping with those things 100%. and um and uh yeah i just uh, i really wish that for you guys right? well yeah you, you gotta find your spot you gotta you know if you, you like i said you gotta be creative at some sort some point in your life I, I gotta be honest you're really distracting me right now sorry yeah that's never gonna happen again okay no um See, you gotta find your spot to be yeah. creative because if you have distractions, That's a good, it's very difficult to be focused. Good... And here you come again. I don't understand. This is me leaving. Uh, See what yeah. happens? Kids. Well, that's the thing. The test. So you have to the learn test. how to recalibrate your yep. thinking when yep. distractions happen. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. I'm like that. I, I gotta do. I gotta constantly gauge myself, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One hundred percent. Exactly. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But it's also knowing knowing what you need and what you don't need. Yeah. You know? So if you're in a state of mind or, or if you're in a place where you know you can't be creative or you can't develop yourself, well, it's up to you to say something or move. Yeah. Right? Yeah, exactly. Like change places. If you're in a library and a guy's, I don't know, eating chips <laughs> and you, you can't focus, then you may, you you may voice your yeah, concerns. either voice your concerns or move. Right? Yeah, and change spots. Same thing as that. Isn't Is that why we moved? No. No? Okay. No, no, no. Move because of other reasons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, this is actually a great spot. I actually Perfect feel spot. a really great feng shui yeah. in this area. It's and it's, it's allowing me to be more creative. That's right. And then my morning routine is back on par. And I'm actually, the, the creative side of me is actually overflowing with the ideas and, and yeah. insights that hopefully help you. And yeah. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm continuing to... Can, like right on my, my graphic novel, they're continuing that. Yeah. The editing and processing all of what the book's going to look like the panels and stuff like that yeah so that's quite the experience in itself being able to do that considering i've never done it before just like you creating online courses you've never done that before yeah exactly you really got to push yourself out there and try i mean yeah you look at anybody who's successful in life whether it's financially whatever they've taken risks mm -hmm. taking you risks stay in the corner finding... in the shelter you're never gonna yeah but also that finding that space that physical space that mental space where you that can helps. be yeah. more creative because 100%. again as i say when that is jeopardized then you're more in survival mode and you can't be creative so yeah. yeah that is today's topic that is today's topic come on so... bah, 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 bah.
as always, we love, we love you. you. We're thinking, We're thinking about, about you. you. Have yourself a great Tuesday. day. Come on, eat some fruits, take a cold shower, take be a, a good smoothie. person, take a smoothie. Don't be a douchebag. Do good.